guys welcome back to my channel excuse my mess in my craft room i have been really busy today so today i'm going to show you how to take these two treat bags and turn those in into these cute little graduation gnomes if you want to know how to make them stick around i'll show you how okay for this gnome you're gonna need two five by seven treat bags you're gonna need some felt um, I cut mine into circles. I cut a three inch, a two inch, and two three quarter inch circles. You can need a base, a th three inch base. You're gonna need a pool noodle that's two and a quarter by one and a half. Um, two pieces of felt that four and a half by four and a half. A piece of chipboard that's four and a half by four and a half. A tassel, a nose, a lint brush, fur. You're gonna need something for his um, banner around his neck. Some string, um, piece of cardboard to make the tassels. Some weighted beads and some um, filling. All right, let's get started. What we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and take our um, treat bag and we're going to cut the bottom hem off of it so we can open up so we can put our base into that. We're going to take the other one and we're going to measure two and three quarter inch down from the top and we are going to cut straight across there and use the top. Then we're going to take the other piece, fold it in half, and we're going to divide it up evenly for the sleeves for our, for our robe. Just going to cut that straight down the middle. And then you figure out which sides are open and we're going to do a diagonal on those openings. We're going to measure one and three quarters inch across the top, do a little snip with it, and we are going to diagonal from the bottom to that snip and just cut that off. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Just open it up and make sure that you're cutting on the side that has the opening. And we are just going to diagonal that across. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and build our body. We're going to take our um, treat bag and we are going to go ahead and put our three inch base in it. And we are just going to glue all the way around the bottom. It's going to be a little bit bigger than the base, but you can just put a little um, tuck in it. It's not going to hurt anything. Just put the tuck in at the back. Then we're going to glue that all the way around just to secure it really good. That way we can add our weighted beads and we don't have to worry about them coming out. Then go ahead and take your scissors and trim the excess off the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and fill it with one third of a cup of beads. And then we're going to fill the rest with the polyfill. And we're going to fill it about one and a half inch, well, about one and three quarters of an inch down from the top. All right, when we get that all filled up, we're just going to take a rubber band and we're going to secure that with a rubber band. And then we're going to take the drawstring off the top of the other bag that we cut and we are going to secure where that rubber band is. So just snip that off on both sides, pull that on out, and we're going to tie that off. That way if that rubber band ever breaks, it's secured. All right, then we're just going to snip that off, pull our other um, drawstrings up, tighten it up at the top, snip those off, and then we're going to Take a limp brush, and it's real handy to have a limp brush with this. Go ahead and trim the top of your um, fur off so that you have a nice even space. We're going to go ahead and measure our beard, and we're going to make our beard three and a quarter inches across by two and a half inches in length. And we are just going to cut around in a U shape all the way down to that two and a half inch mark and come back up the back side to the three and a quarter inch side. Again, you're just going to trim off the very, very back of that fur. Don't cut through the fur. Then we're going to clean that excess hair off and get it good and clean. And we're just going to go ahead and attach our beard to our body. Make sure that the seam is in the back. And then we're going to put glue across the top part of the beard. And we're going to just cinch it up around the top part. Just kind of squeeze it around there. All right, now we're going to go ahead and build our arms. We're not going to put hands inside these. We're going to put pipe cleaner in them so we can bend them. Just glue up one side. And we're going to do that to both of them, but don't glue across the top because we're going to put the pipe cleaner in. We're not going to add hands because it's going to be kind of like a robe, like their hand is inside the robe. It's just one less step that you have to do. Okay, we're going to bend our pipe cleaner in half and we're going to just stick it inside the top. And we're going to do that to both of them. Then we're going to glue the pipe cleaner across the top just to make sure that the arm does not come off. All right, now we're just going to bend that pipe cleaner up 
against the top part of the gnome. And then we're going to go ahead and make a little bit of a pleat in here just to kind of gather up the arm a little bit to make it a little bit smaller at the top. And we're going to do that to both sides. Just a little, little bit of glue and then just kind of pinch it in there. And then we're going to bend that um, pipe cleaner up and then we're going to attach it to the top with a rubber band. That way, once we get the hat on there, those arms are not going to come off of there. Go ahead and attach that rubber band right around there. And then snip them off. All right, next we're going to take our pool noodle and we're going to do some slits in it. And we are going to try to cut just, we are going to cut the center of this out. That way we can pull it up over the top of that um, nub that's at the top of our gnome and it'll be secured on there. This is the hat that we're building. Just randomly cut that out. We're just going to kind of open up the center of it. Then we're going to take that other piece of felt or the piece of velvet bag and we're going to snip out one side and then we're going to take our cutter and then just make sure that that side is straight cut. We're going to open it up and we're going to hem up one side of it so we have a nice seam along the back side. And then when we attach our noodle to it, we're just going to come up about a quarter of an inch up from the top of the seam. And we're going to glue that in. That way when we put our nose up there, we still have a little bit of opening. And we can, when we put our hat on and we put our, um, the rest of our body together, we can just see, we can seal up those areas without you seeing any of that pool noodle. We're just going to roll that up. And we are going to put that seam right down the back. Just glue it right down the back. All right, and then we're going to take the opposite side and do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and open it up as well. That way it's opened up all the way through on that noodle. All right, then we're going to go ahead and... Um, Put it on up and through there, make sure it's in there good. Just push it up in there. Pull those two cords, that's why I left them, because you can pull that back through there pretty easy, and then just snip those off. Then put a little glue in the middle just to hold that nub part in there. And that's going to secure your hat on there. Then we're going to take some slits on top. And I'm sorry my hand's in the way, but you'll see it here in a minute. And we're just going to glue those down. And this is going to complete the top part of our hat. Then we're going to put a piece of felt over the top of it too, just to secure it completely down. Just put a little bit of glue across that. And that's the little two inch piece. And just glue that down. All right, while that dries, we're going to go ahead and build the hat. We're going to take two of our four and a half by four and a half pieces of felt and our four and a half piece of um, chipboard. Glue the chipboard down in the middle. Actually, our chipboard's only four by four, not four and a half by four and a half. And then we're going to go ahead and glue the sides down once we get it all the way down. And you won't see that chipboard in there. Just glue all the way down on all sides. And this will be our hat. Then we're going to take our tassel and we are going to tie a string around it. Figure out exactly where in the middle it is and then tie that off with a knot. figure out exactly where the center of that is and we're going to take those three quarter inch um, circles and we're going to glue one of them down over the top part of that tassel tie that off really good trim off the excess and we're going to tie we're going to glue that right up underneath that three quarter inch piece of felt and then we're going to come back over the top of the second um, of the other felt and glue that other little circle right over the top of that felt too. That'll give it a little bit of rise in the center. Just glue it on and then glue the other one right on the top of it. All right, there you have it. Now we're going to go ahead and attach it to the gnome. 
We're just going to put glue, a lot of glue, on top of his head. And then we're going to actually turn him over so that we can see exactly where we're going to put that. That way you can make sure that you're centered. Just glue that down and then hold that down till it dries. All right, then we're going to go ahead and add his nose, just right in the middle, up underneath that ledge of that hat, and then we're going to glue that hat ledge down up over the top of his nose. All right, we're going to put him aside, and we're going to go ahead and build our, um, our honor sash. We're just going to take um, a piece of um, floss, embroidery floss, and we're going to glue it down to this piece of cardboard. The cardboard that I cut is two inches um, tall by three inches wide. And we are going to wrap this around 20 times around the two, and a, two inch side. And then just trim that off. And then take a little clip and clip that down. Then we're going to open up those pieces of um, tape and we are going to tie the top part of that off just to make sure it's secured. Then we're going to pull that off of there and we are going to tie another piece of that floss about um, half an inch down across the top and that's going to complete our tassel. Just pull those together and then put that clip back on there to hold it in place while you, while you um, put that other piece of floss around there. So I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of floss, probably about 8 inches, tie it down about a half inch, tie a knot in it, and then we're going to wrap three times around one way and three times around the other way with the other side, and then we're going to tie those off. And I'm just going to show you one of these, and the other one's going to be just exactly like this, because so you're going to want to make two of them. I'm going to go ahead and snip that off, and then we're going to put a little bit of glue there just to hold that in place. Make sure it doesn't come untied, and then we're going to go ahead and open up all those little loops and then pull those together and then trim those out so make sure that they're even. And you're going to make two of those. All right, then we're going to go ahead and attach it to our cord, our honor cord. We're going to just put a little glue on each end so that that doesn't come unraveled. We're going to turn it over on the side that has the knot, put a little bit of glue, and then we're just going to push that down into that top part. It'll kind of mold right into there. Then we're going to do that on both sides. Make sure you're doing it on the side that has the knot so you don't see it and it has a nice clean edge on the front. And then push that down. And then we're just going to tie that off. Tie it off just about two or three times. and then snip off the excess cord. And same thing on this side, just going to tie it off really good onto that cord. And then just snip that off. Then we're going to take our cord and we're going to put it up around his neck and we're going to tuck it up underneath his hat. And then we're just going to glue his hat down. You don't have to glue it all the way down. Just, you know, we're going to randomly put some little glue places underneath there. Just stick that glue gun right up underneath there. And probably about three or four spots. So just try not to get any of that glue on that velvet because it's hard to get it off if you do. 
All right, then we're going to go ahead and take a three inch um, piece of felt and we're going to attach it to the bottom. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to. I just wanted to trim it out and get it all um, solid black and just glue that onto the bottom. All right, and that's you're pretty much done. And you got a cute little graduation gnome. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have a new video, hit the bell. Thanks for watching.